Today was the day we were supposed to go to Vortex and snorkel. Uh, Andy, still not feeling well. Uh, so it's not going to happen. I was going to go fishing today. And the uh, forecast yesterday showed for rain this morning. So it wasn't going to bother. And I woke up, looked at the radar, and there was no rain. So, blah. What do you do? So, but slept in late. It's like 10:47 in the morning. I hadn't been up but about an hour. I never get to sleep late, so that was nice. Just want to give you a quick update. So, I've been going to the gym all week. Uh, I had a job interview uh, in at my business that I work at, but uh, kind of a promotion type thing. It, I, it's complicated, but anyway. Had my interview Thursday and uh, felt like it went okay. You know, I could have done way better, but that's an interview for you. You know, it's mundane stuff, just <laughs> real life every day, going to work, uh, family time, the day. But like I said, I've been going to the gym all week, been eating well all week. I actually feel really good. Um, I got a, uh, I gotta say a thank you to some guys that I work with. Um, so. I got on uh, I got on social media the other night and I was you know just kind of making I was at the gym and I kind of put a thing out there I was like you know I struggle with my eating and my health and I need somebody to hold me accountable so uh, I got some guys at work that are really gonna step up and uh, help me out there they've been pushing me and uh, Quinn actually told, tells me Monday that uh, he's going to come down hard on me, but I, I've been doing pretty good this week, and uh, I do well when I got somebody watching over me. I don't, I don't, I take care of the whole world, but taking care of myself is a whole nother, whole nother thing. If I don't got somebody pushing me to do it or have a good reason to do it, I just won't. Uh, but like I said, going to Walmart, I'm actually fixing to stop by the the boat place real fast. My small motor, I think I'm going to bring it up here today if I can get back in time. See the light do you see the road the horizon the land do you see that I see a road in front of us okay do you see the sky past where as far as you can see like the, the lighter color blue all right you see the darker clouds above it okay follow that cloud over and you see where the lighter blue fades away and it's dark you see that well i see where it fades just don't see the rain but that's the rain that's the dark rain cloud coming down. It's the rain coming out of the cloud. Not on my watch! Ah! 
get about what? Woo! Got you! <laughs> oh! Hello. <laughs> Did you get the knot on my watch part? I think I need it. What's up guys it's been a uh, it's been a minute since i turned the camera on just had a lot of a lot of things happening lately that uh i should have recorded sorry about that um it is starting week three of uh weight loss i'm down 12 pounds so that's cool uh i haven't been going to the gym as much as i should have been but i'm still i'm still going uh the main thing though is i'm still eating right but let me talk about what has been going on so our dog shadow we've had him for about seven years and uh shadow has become my buddy my my good friend uh protector of my family um never been one to just be like in love with a dog you know what i'm saying just uh but he became like one of the family he became like uh a child and we took care of him I came home Thursday to find him passed away, which is really sad. I cried all last weekend. It was sad. It was like losing losing a good friend. I, I'm not gonna say it was like losing a child, but uh, <clears throat> I, I don't want to experience that. But it was like losing my best friend. And uh, so, but on a on a positive note, uh, not that Shadow can be replaced at all. Uh, some other things have been going on too during this off time um, a dog wandered up it's been a few weeks actually I didn't I didn't video any of it because it looked awful and uh, I'll throw in a video clip of what he looked like when we found him Our neighbor had some pit bull puppies, um, beautiful puppies, and one of them wandered away and ended up in our field, our back field. While Alana was mowing grass, she runs across it. It had got in the high grass. It's wooded between us and, and where he come from, and uh, he got into some fleas somewhere along the way, and uh, in turn brought them to my house. But anyway, he was covered in fleas and infected. Uh, apparently it had been a few days and he was starving. Uh, the fleas had him anemic, uh, just eating him up. They were, they, were, they were literally eating him alive. Uh, very sad. So we got him back to health and uh, recently taken him to the vet. I talked to the owners and they have agreed to let me keep him. But I'll introduce you to Duke soon. Let you check them out. I'm, I'm training them at the moment. So that's coming up. I'll video some of that. Um, I've checked on my boat motor. Uh, he had to order a few more parts. We discussed some other problems that it looked like it might have, and I just told him to go ahead and fix that. Uh, so that's that's coming. Uh, hopefully, I can get my motor back and get my boat in the water before summer's up. Uh, I'd love to go to the river and uh, chill. Another issue been dealing with uh, the hole in the wall that I showed you uh, I think a video back a couple videos back that my daughter accidentally poked a small hole I, I busted the big wide one in um, but she had punched a small hole like fell into it and punched a hole in it well I was gonna tear it out to fix it and I tore it out 
and it was wet behind it and turns out I'm, I'm like remodeling my living room and the office in my bedroom now. So, whew, I'll show you a clip of that. I've had some, what I thought was a roof leak. So let me show you real quick. Let's back up, show you this broad area. See, I thought I had a roof leak, but, and that looks like a wet spot, but it's not. When you get up there, it's, it's bone dry. But here's the weird part, like, so I tore this out and, uh, and I've made a mess. Uh, my wife is gonna kill me, but I've torn all this out and killed this mold and wiped the wall. You can see all the smears, but I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. And if you see, there's plywood. For some reason, plywood was placed behind my sheetrock. So, and I apologize if this is a crappy video, but uh, check this out. And I keep saying, I think my wall's sweating. And everybody's like, walls don't sweat. Well, yeah, they do. You see, I'm not an engineer, but I got some pretty good common sense. And I deal with a lot of condensation and a lot of things like that at my job. So I understand how if it's hot inside and it's cold outside, right? It's like a glass you put on the table. Um, you, put a ice, you put ice water in a cup in South Mississippi and set it on the table and it's gonna sit there and sweat. And like almost a third of what's in the cup is what it sweats on the outside. So it's just condensating and uh, making all the humidity outside the cup condensate. Anyway, check this moisture out. It's not up top. It's just right here, about a foot from the top of the foot from the ceiling. And I've cut all this out, so this can't sweat. But right there, I didn't. And it's solid on the other side of this, of right here. But you see that screwdriver, you see it on the other side. That's where I poked it through. And it's still sweating right there. I think the heat is escaping, coming in from the ceiling, coming through those holes that the wires come through into these walls. And we keep it so cool in the house that it condensates. It's uninsulated walls. And for some reason, this plywood is on here. And maybe it just can't breathe, I don't know. But the wall is sweating. I hope you can see that. It's sweating. It's not doing it up here. I, I hope the camera is picking that up. That's insane. So, all I know to do is tear out all the sheetrock, insulate the wall, you know, tear out all the sheetrock, kill all the mold, put new sheetrock in, insulate it. And I uh, hope for the best. I don't think I have a roof leak. I think it just sweats. Um, I'm going to seal up those holes with some great stuff. And I hope for the best. Whew. So I don't have a whole lot to, to tell you guys. Uh, I don't have a little lot to show you. I don't have any action. Um, I'll try to catch some B-roll. <laughs> I have nothing. Um, I've been... As far as my diet's been going, I've been going low carb. Uh, some days no carb. Done pretty good at that. Uh, that works pretty good, but I'd get about three o'clock every day. I'd just crash and I could not wake up. So uh, I had to add some carbs to my diet. So I'm doing that. What else? So I'm going low carb. Uh, I'm getting in as much exercise as I can but that's not being very cooperative right now because obviously I'm tearing out sheetrock in my house and uh, last weekend I uh, was just sad about my dog so that, that feel like a country song. My dog died. But I guess that's about it. I mean, I got this new microphone. I hope my audio is getting better. Uh, really just learning how to use it. Uh, oh, God, the biggest thing, moved Alana back to school. She's back in college. So it's just me and mom and Sarah at the moment uh, until Atlanta comes home for the weekends or whatnot. So we're missing her. And Atlanta, if you're watching, we miss you. Uh, nothing crazy going on. Um, 
probably going to work on the boat some this weekend. Maybe I'll show some of that. But it's supposed to rain, and rain sucks. And pretty much everything I like to do uh, requires going outside. So there you go. Sorry, such a boring couple of videos. Uh, that's you know that's the name of the page. It's called Real Life, and that's what real life is. It's not always uh, it's not always fun. Sometimes it's work. Sometimes it's just busy. Mm. Be honest. Sometimes it sucks, but God's good. Um, trying to decide on, as far as my repairs for the sheetrock, the the house. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it myself. Uh, I'm not real good at it. My pastor said he would come help me do it. I was trying to pay him to do it, but he's busy. He's got some things going on. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to work out. Uh, he told me to give him a couple weeks, and I still got to. I got to demo stuff out but we'll get there um other than that that's it so that's real life peace out